Joining us now on the MegaCast is one of the numerous artists that you can meet at this year's Ann Arbor Art Fair. Kelly Waterfall is a woodworking artist, a Michigan native, and even a former reporter at our Michigan MegaCast co-flagship Pacific Center TV, and joins us now on the program. Kelly, thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having me. Appreciate having you on. So first off, uh, you are a woodworking artist with Waterfall Woodworking is the name of your business, but you also work in advertising uh, in a previous life. You were a TV reporter also and a journalist. So what got you into woodwork? Yeah, so in 2020, you know, the pandemic, uh, my husband and I bought a house and I really wanted to furnish this house and it was so expensive. Furniture is not cheap and I really wanted a very specific dining table. And so I decided I was gonna make it myself. And that uh, started hours of research, YouTube videos, and I just went for it one day and everyone thought I was crazy. And then it spiraled into so much more. So it's not easy to put together a piece of furniture or, or any woodworking project by, by any means. How do you manage your time between your work in advertising and also your work as a woodworking artist? Yeah, uh, managing time is not easy, but you know, I work all day pretty much nine to five and I work remote, so I work from home, so that's awesome. So the second I'm done with work, I head out to my garage and I spend hours in the garage you know, until it's time to close down for the night and, you know, eat dinner and have a normal life. And then on the weekends, it's pretty much all I do. So one of the great things about your art is that the wood that you're using to create it is locally sourced. Where do you get most of the wood for this project, for these projects? Yeah, so I get all my lumber, you know, at local lumber mills. Uh, specifically, I go to one just south of Lansing. Uh, it's called Johnson Millworks, and they're a great lumber um, company. And so I go, I pick out all my lumber, and I get it rough, and then I mill it all down myself in my garage. I work out of my <laughs> garage. I've taken it over and put all my tools in there. We're joined by Kelly Waterfall, one of over a thousand artists that you'll be able to see at this year's Ann Arbor Art Fair beginning Thursday, July 21st, and running through Saturday, July 23rd in, on over 30 blocks of Ann Arbor. The, the dates are Thursday, July 21st, and Friday, July 22nd, from 10 a.m. until 9 p.m., and then Saturday, July 23rd, 10 a.m. until 8 p.m. You can learn more about the Ann Arbor Art Fair by visiting theannarborartfair.com. That's theannarborartfair.com, and in terms of Kelly's uh, work, you can find more information on her website at waterfallwoodworking.com or by visiting uh, her Instagram page at Waterfall Woodworking. Kelly, uh, as we continue on, it's your first year at the Ann Arbor Art Fair. A, what attracted you to the Ann Arbor Art Fair and uh, what are you looking forward to going to this art show? Well, you know, Ann Arbor Art Fair, it's the big one. You know, everyone knows about it and it is just such a cool event. I remember going to it. I did a news story on it one time. And so I finally felt ready enough this year to apply for the art fair. And I, I felt so honored to like get into this huge art fair. Um, and I'm just so excited to be alongside, you know, the best artists in Michigan and to see all their work. It is so cool just being around like-minded people and people you know, who do this as a hobby or full-time, it's really inspirational. So I'm just excited to be there for three days, you know, obviously to have my art on display is a big deal because you know, I've put so much time and effort into it, but also to be around so many amazing artists. So you said earlier on that you began woodworking as a hobby during the pandemic while you were at home and eventually just realized that you really enjoyed it and you were really good at it. When did it click with you that this could be a, a side gig for you and, and be a business in art on top of what you do in your professional career? Yeah, well, soon after I made that very first table, um, people started asking me for them. So I started by selling some tables. Um, now, those are a lot of work. It was almost like too much to fit into my full-time job. Um, and so then I was like, well, what else can I make? And it kind of just naturally turned to like cutting boards and working with epoxy and fun stuff like that. So it really just kind of spiraled. I'm always looking for the next thing. I do a lot of DIY too. I'm always looking around my house. Well, what can I do? What can I do for my family? I'm always offering to make things that people want because I just find it so much fun to be working with wood and then just to be able to create anything that really comes to my mind. Website for Kelly's uh, workings are at waterfallwoodworking.com, waterfallwoodworking.com, and Instagram at waterfallwoodworking. We're joined by Kelly Waterfall from Waterfall Woodworking. You'll find her on uh, Thursday, July 23rd, 1st through Saturday, July 23rd at the Ann Arbor Art Fair. More information on the Art Fair at the Ann Arbor Art Fair. 
Com. Uh, Kelly, what is your approach to making each of these pieces? Obviously, for some, it's going to be clients that are coming to you and asking you to make a very specific uh, uh, woodworking for furniture or another design. But when you start making your own designs, what's your process? Where do you go from the start to the finish? I really just take some time to think about what I want to make or what I'm going for. Some of it's totally random. Um, this board right here, I just kind of put together a bunch of pieces of wood and this is the pattern I got and it turned out pretty cool. Um, some of it's a little more thought out. You know, this piece, I really wanted to make a more rainbow pattern and so that's what I went for here. It totally depends. The creative process is kind of all over the place. It depends what I'm making. For the art fairs, I have more of a structured process. I know I want to take some of my um, ocean epoxy pieces and then an array of cutting boards. Um, this seashell piece over here, this is seashells actually encased in epoxy, um, is for my grandma. And I was on the beach in Florida at her house and I was like, I'm going to pick up some seashells and throw them in epoxy. So it's totally random and really whatever comes to my mind. And that's the greatest thing about this hobby. And I think really being an artist in general is that you just have full um, creative ability to do whatever you want. We're joined by Kelly Waterfall from Waterfall Woodworking. You'll find her at this year's Ann Arbor Art Fair, July 21st through 23rd in Ann Arbor. 30 blocks of the city taken up by three different art shows, including uh, other entertainment and activities as well. More information on all the art shows and all the activities at the Ann Arbor Art Fair .com. You can learn more about Kelly's work at waterfallwoodworking.com. Kelly, you mentioned, and we've talked about this already, that uh, this really began for you during the pandemic as an activity uh, that... Uh, you took up a, as something to, to occupy your time. And then, of course, uh, as people got interested in some of your workings, it became uh, more than just a hobby for you. But where, where did you learn these skills? Was it all just learning woodworking in the throes of the pandemic? Had you had previous experience with this? No, I had no previous experience with this. And it's so funny because I uh, grew up very kind of scared of everything. I've always been terrified of hurting myself. And so my family thinks it's so funny that now I work with saws every day. <laughs> and like, you know, something could go wrong, but I'm very safe with it. Um, but yeah, I really just learned it all during the pandemic. Had never thought I would do anything like this in my life. Um, which is why it's such a shock to the people close to me. But I really just learned on the internet through YouTube, through meeting other creators online, and then um, through just lots of reading and research. So Kelly, this is your first time at the Ann Arbor Art Fair. We, we've already talked about uh, what brings you to Ann Arbor and what uh, prompted you to apply to be part of this uh, extensive art show. Have you been participating in other art shows or is this also your first art show in general? I've done Berkeley Art Bash, um, which is a, a great art show as well. That was my first one I did last year in 2021, and it was uh, a great success. And then I did it again this year, which was in June. And so that's what kind of prompted me to be like, okay, I think I'm, I'm ready for a multiple day art fair and ready to fly for Ann Arbor. So a lot of what you do is customized to what your client would like, but you also make general pieces as well. What will you be bringing with you to the Ann Arbor Art Fair? What are some of the pieces people can expect to see? Yeah, definitely. So I will be bringing everything you see here and so much more. No piece is really one of a kind. I have certain patterns I'll stick to with my cutting boards, but every ocean piece, every epoxy piece um, is truly one of a kind. I'll be having an array of colors. I do um, some boards where I put coffee beans in the middle. Those are really cool. Um, just all sorts of serving boards, coasters, cutting boards, really anything you could want for home and kitchen decor I'll have. More information on all of Kelly's work can be found at waterfallwoodworking.com and on Instagram at waterfallwoodworking, instagram.com slash waterfallwoodworking or waterfallwoodworking.com. And of course, more information on the Ann Arbor Art Fair, 30 blocks of the city, over a thousand artists, as well as other activities at the Ann Arbor Art Fair. Dot com. That's the Ann Arbor Art Fair dot com for more information on the Ann Arbor Art Fair, July 21st through 23rd, the Thursday and Friday dates, 10 a.m. until 9 p.m. Saturday, July 23rd, one hour less, 10 a.m. until 8 p.m. Get you home nice and early on that weekend evening. Uh, Kelly, in terms of your more customized pieces, if people are interested in getting some furniture made by you or another piece made uh, by you uh, uh, as you do your woodworking, about how long can they expect based on, of course, the size and the design of the piece from the point that they inquire to the point that they would receive their piece from you? 
It totally depends the size of the piece. If I have it, you know, on hand leftovers from the art fair, that's obviously a quick thing I can hand over to them. Um, if it's something I have to make custom, I always say about two weeks um, just to make sure I have the time to do it. When I'm doing art fairs, I don't take as much custom orders, but this is likely my last art fair for the summer. So I'll have plenty of time after that. Um, and I always tell people, I give them my business card at events, you know, email me is the greatest way to, you know, talk through your ideas and I'll come up with a custom quote and everything. I also always offer um, engraving on my pieces. This is my last name, but I know a lot of people like that for wedding gifts. So I always make sure to bring that up at the art fairs. If someone sees something they love, I could always take it home and engrave it for them. So totally depends on the piece, but generally like two weeks. We're joined by Kelly Waterfall from Waterfall Woodworking. She's one of over a thousand artists you'll find at this year's Ann Arbor Art Fair, three art fairs, entertainment, and more on the Ann Arbor Art Fair.com. July 21st through 23rd, really basically just go to downtown Ann Arbor. It's 30 blocks of the city that will be taken up by this art fair. Again, the Ann Arbor Art Fair.com and uh, Kelly's art can be found on waterfallwoodworking.com. Kelly, another couple minutes with you before we'll say goodbye today. Anything else that would be interesting or important for our audience to know about your woodworking or uh, what you'll be doing at this year's Ann Arbor Art Fair? I'm just so excited to be at the Ann Arbor Art Fair. Like I said, I'm honored to be a part of it. I'm so excited to be by so many awesome artists. I spend so so much time on my art, and I'm just thankful that people will get to, you know, see it and appreciate it. I think that's really what the Ann Arbor Art Fair is about, is just getting to know so many different artists. You know, I have so many people that will come up to my booth at previous art fairs and, and just admire what I do. You know, you don't have to buy anything, you know, it's okay. I just love to share my art with the world, and this is something I genuinely love doing, so I'm really excited. More information can be found on waterfallwoodworking.com. Kelly, thanks for being with us today. Thank you so much.